What's up, everybody? Jace here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2020 Bowman's Best Baseball. Eight box case break packaging number 15 just sold out. Remember, all card ship. We don't sell the twins. They must have no autographs, but everything else is going to be donated. Uh, so we don't ship out the twins. We're going to donate it. So 2020 Bowman. Bowman's Best. There we go. Here's the guys names that are in the break. And Joe Crow. Got a lot spot Mojo Tigers. There we go. Here's the case. Let's open it up. Remember, you get four autographs in every box, two in every mini box. So, total 32 autos. So, potentially can get some nice hits. A lot of rookies, a lot of nice inserts. So a lot of value in this. But all card ships, so regardless, you're going to get something. All right, so we'll rip open four boxes at a time. And we'll go through the hits. Sixty-two career high for Steph Curry tonight. All right, so there you go, four boxes, guys. Let's rip them. And we'll go with the next four. Um, I already did that break, uh, Michael. So that video should have already been posted. Um... But yeah, I, uh, we already gave away those 10 spots. Ah, 
I, mean, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like to spoil people. I don't remember, to be honest, since we gave away 10 names, but you can check it out. I don't, I don't, I don't like to spoil things if people want or not. Um, Chen, I'm not sure. I mean, I would assume Luis Robert, since it's a rookie, would probably be the best hit in Bowman's best. I don't know what else we have pulled besides what I did earlier today. Um, so it was out for a couple weeks of COVID, so I don't know what we hit in the last few weeks since Bowman's best first release, but I did number 14. I got some nice stuff. Um, but I assume Luis Robert would be the best hit. Or, yeah, like a one-on-one -on -one trout, I guess, would be the big best hit. Ooh, nice. There you go. So, the, yeah, that's probably the best that we have here. You want to sell it out tonight, Joshua? I mean, I won't stop you. I just assume it's not going to fill. But if you want to buy it out and sell it out, then I'll break it tonight. No problem, man. I mean, I just figured it wasn't going to sell, so I was just planning my good night. But if you guys sell it out, then we will break it. If not, then if by the time I get to 1220 and it's not sold out, then I'll probably call it. But if it sells out by then, which will give you another like two hours, I mean, I'll, I'll break it. Alrighty. Good luck, everybody. Mauricio Dubon is our first auto. We got a little Zach Gallon. We have Nick Gonzalez. Obachet. Jordan Alvarez. We got a Kyle Lewis and out of 50, Gavin Lux. It's pretty nice. Dodgers with that one. That's going to guy. Jordan Walker. Nick Solak. Eddie Rosario. Antonio Cabello. Yankees. Aaron Judge to 99.
Yeah, well, you know, that would just mean all the graded PSA 10s and stuff like that have, are only going to go up for Mosaic. But I, I, Mosaic established itself in its first year, and it's here to stay. Mosaic is a good product. All righty, next one. We got a Sean Murphy to 50 rookie autograph. Oakland going to Alfonso. Bichette, uh, Brennan McKay to 250. Well, the thing is, Ray, I think everything is in a tank when it's raw. Because I think now the market is graded. Everything needs to be graded now if people want to make a lot of money. And you'll see the difference, right? I mean, I, I'm sure you know. Uh, a base, Herbert. Raw compared to a base PSA 10 Herbert Raw, I mean, uh, you know, graded 10 is a big difference now. But that's just us making the market tank like that because people don't want Raw no more. People rather just get pay for the card graded. Jordan Alvarez. But a good time to buy right now, though. It's going to be off season. People are not going to care for football so much. So, perfect, perfect time to buy. Brandon McKay, franchise favorites. I know, right, Mojo? I mean, yeah, you know, right? I mean, grading for sure now has just totally changed the game. Like, it turns a $10 card to like a $75 card easily. It's crazy. And it's here to stay now, too. It's just like all those people that graded, uh, you know, Chronicles Basketball, right? Remember how... When it first came out, it was, it was so hot, but then it tanked so crazy, the prices. But then now we're starting to see a bunch of Chronicles, PSA 10, John Morantz, and all this crazy stuff. And now you see the difference, you know? Now you see the difference in prices. Turns that $10 card, it's like 100 bucks. Well, Ray, I mean, that's also if you want to pay up and pay for the 20-day grade or 5-day, 10-day, whatever the case may be. Some people don't want to pay, you know, $25 a card a grade, so... Uh, they'd rather do the six month plus and wait it out, which is okay. But trust me, there's a lot of people that pay up for the grading services because what's an extra twenty five dollars if it's going to increase the value? You know, from a Zion PSA ten silver to raw, I mean, it's going to increase your value by thousands. So people will, are willing to pay that extra fifty bucks a card or whatever the case may be to get it back quickly. Also depends on who you're grading it with. Some grading services, some grading people online, like on Instagram, they have great connections, and that stuff is quick. Stuff is quick. So it just depends on who you graded with as well. Andrew Vaughn to 150. Jordan rookie. Trouty. Luis Roberts and Brett Batty. Yeah, yeah. I mean... It's, it's Like I said, it just depends on who you get it with, to be honest. Uh, I've seen that happen. I feel like people have done it on their own through PSA's website, and it sometimes takes a little longer than send, submitting it to a PSA grader uh, that drops it off. You know? But yeah, I think the market for everything now raw is going to be rough. Unless it's graded. Exactly, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? So, like, let's say this is a perfect time to... Just use the regular however long it's going to take you six months, right? Because guess what? I mean, if you're investing into football, well, best time to buy is now. And if you get it back in four or five months, I mean, the season's not going to start till next year in August, right? October. So you have plenty of time, plenty of time to, to get back your investment and reflip, you know? Um, so, ooh, nice Yordan right here. Look at that Atomic. But yeah, if you want to flip, you just pay that extra fee, 50 bucks, whatever the case may be. You sell it, and then you move on. Um, I, f I forget. Actually, one of the lower grading companies, I don't know if it was SGC or one of those, whoever is doing it, is actually a Beckett company already. It's just a lower-end one. 
uh, but I think you're seeing SCC. That's a different company, right? Because I believe SGC is actually Beckett. It's just a lower company. Um, but I, I mean, there's gonna be a lot of people are gonna try to take advantage of the grading and start their own grading services. But PSA and and, and uh, Beckett have established themselves, which they're always gonna have a higher value. Robert Hassel autograph for the San Diego Padres. Very nice. Arsid is Aquino. Atomic Justin Fosco. There you go. Yeah, well, I mean, I still see it the same way. Uh, I think BGS 9. You know, then a PSA 9. BGS 9.5. PSA 10, then of course, um, what separates Beckett from everybody else is you get a pristine 10, and then of course if you get that highly coveted black label, then it's just through the roof. I prefer the PSA slabs for regular 35 points, I think they look so much better, but anything over that, I feel like B BGS looks so much better. Um, you know, I mean, just like a year ago, before this pandemic, I mean, we always used to say, Adley Rutschman. Uh, grade PSA for anything a vintage and grade modern BGS, but now it's totally a different way <laughs> You know And plus I mean with like that Nats Turner buying PSA, I mean I was hearing that It's gonna have like robots grading so No more no more uh, No more human grading anymore. It's all gonna be so precise. So it's, it's gonna be even harder to grade in the future probably Cause you know sometimes in PSA tens don't look like PSA tens. <laughs> sometimes those PSA nines look way better than PSA tens. So I don't know. Get quicker grades and more accurate, I guess. Kyle Lewis. Buster Posey and this card is stuck. Nolan Arenado. Nice Luis Roberts. Gavin Lux. We have a Key Ryan Hayes. Jesus Zardo autograph. Yeah, it's just I think we're just so used to PSA and BGS. The other ones just look weird, right? Yeah. I think I think SGCs are the ones that are like really like big, right? Yeah, Mike. So the way that filler worked is that you got a random team first for the break. Um, I think the Dolphins helmet w went out to a customer, right? Then I randomized the customer names again in a separate randomizer to determine who's going to win the 10 names. So if you came in the top 10, you were part of the break. If you're not in the top 10, then obviously you didn't win anything. But of course, the, the whole purpose of the break was you still have a chance to win a mini helmet as a hit, plus spots in the break. So that last randomizer, just the only the customer names will be the randomizer for the uh, NT. Which I'm not trying to spoil it. I, I, I want to say you were part of the top 10. I don't remember though. I don't want to say, I don't want to say like for sure, but like I said, watch the video. If you were in the top 10 in the last randomizer of the, at the end of the break, then you did get a spot. Alrighty, let's finish on. Luis Robert. Yeah, 
We got a Christian Yelich. 25. Gavin Lux. Boba Shet. And we got a Nick York green to 99. Alrighty. No problem, I give you. I I, I want to say you were in the top ten. <laughs> I just want. I just don't know if I, too exactly. All right, guys. There was the first uh, four boxes. Let's go with the next four. Next four. All right, there's the four boxes. Let me just quickly push down this.
Alrighty, two more boxes, guys. Dude, Bowman's best is so good, Bojo. I love last year's. I, love, I mean, I've ever since I've been breaking this, it's been so good. I know they kind of changed the design this year, but I think they did a good job. <clears throat> I really liked last year's franchise favorites. Where, like, you know, the case it was, like, and also the autograph being a franchise favorite. But this stuff is nice. It's really nice. This is why this product always sells like really good when it first comes out and then the price just skyrockets. Exactly, yeah, it has everything. Stars, rookies, and, every and prospects. I mean, dude, they have prospects already that were just in Bowman baseball. <laughs> you know, like, they were just Bowman's first not too long ago. And they're already in this product. All on card, you know what I mean? Can't beat it. You have four autographs in a box. I'm sure we'll post up more cases probably tomorrow. Alrighty, last four boxes, guys. Good luck. Kyle Lewis, and we got Bo Bichette. Mitch Keller. Gavin Lux. We got Pete Alonzo. Zach Veen. Power producer Mike Trout. Another Sean Murphy. This time green. 1099. Shohei. Arsene Aquino. Jordan Yamamoto to 150. I know. the fact. Yeah, the fact that he got these all big guys that were just signed. <laughs> or just had a product that just came out. I mean, they must have got all this. Like, they probably signed their Bowmans first, but they also, like, the next day or so, they probably got this shipped out to them. Yeah, it's awesome, man. Out of 150. Then we got a Luis Robert as well. Our citizen Aquino, Nick Lofton. Gavin Lux, Nico Hornier. You got a Nico Hornier, Bowman's best right here. This is like old school right here. Love the design. Tatis, Wander Franco. Cameron Johnson pulling in the air. 
Suns trail by seven. That's a five point game. Fourth quarter. Coker. So good they were in the bubble. Didn't make the playoffs. One on eight. Suns down by just two. Now the Clippers up for George. Fouled by Cameron Payne. And he goes down angry about it. Words were spoken. George and Booker and each other. Uh, they each get ten full here. All right, next box. Robert Hassel for the Padres going to Dean. Autograph. Is that Gallium? Ronald Acuna Jr. for the Braves. One of Steven. There we go. Very, very nice. We got Detmers to 250. Jordan Alvarez. Jordan Alvarez Atomic. And Bruce Dark Gratterall for the Dodgers. Torque. JJ Blade and Brian Reynolds for the Pirates and a Derwin. We got an Eagle Hornet to 250. Justin Dunn Atomic and Ronald Acuna Jr. All right, two more. Trout, Bobby Bradley, Cleveland Indians, one Aaron. Luis Robert, franchise favorites. Robert Pawson. Atomic Tim Anderson, Justin Foscu, Sean Murphy for the A's, Trout franchise favorites, Royce Lewis, Jordan, Torkelson, and Kerstad for the Orioles, going to Joshua. Crochet to 250. Alzole. All right, guys, last box. Good luck. Four more autographs. Austin Wells for the Yankees. Going to Chris Walker. Max Muncy for the Dodgers. Little Jordan rookie. Luis Robert rookie as well. Two more autos. Jason Dominguez. You got Yvonne Herrera for the St. Louis Cardinals. 
Alright, one more autograph pass. Oh, the chat. Arsid is a keynote or 99. Robert Pawson. Wow. It's a plate. And it's Nico Hornier to 150. Autograph. Mojo with the Cubs. Look at that, man. That is sick. It's like a plate on the top, but the card is the same on the back. Pretty cool. Blue ink. Shogo. Ed Howard. Logo Botch. Alrighty, guys. Well, there you go. Do a quick little recap for you guys. Remember, thanks leaving all the big rookies, all these little inserts right here. Die cuts. So, if you didn't get any autos, you still get a lot of this other stuff. And, of course, everything ships. So, we got that rolling for you. Got another big stack, all the numbered cards as well. Now, we go to some autos. I'll top load, or I'll top load these right now as well. Uh, but Yvonne Herrera, got Max Muncy, Austin Wells, Kirstad, Murphy, Pawson, Bradley. Uh, Nico Horn is just a color card. Reynolds, Bruce Dark Gratterall, we got a Ronald Acuna Jr., we got Robert Hassel. Nico Horn is just a base there. Nick Lofton, Yamamoto, Sean Murphy Green, Mitch Keller. <clears throat> we got a Nick York, Mauricio Dubon, Nick Gonzalez, Jordan Walker, and, uh, Antonio Cabello, Sean Murphy, Gold to 50, Pereira, Jarvis. Vaughn, Andrew Vaughn again, this time colored to 150. Um, that is Chicago White Sox, of course. Brett Batty, Ben Hernandez, Robert Hassel, Redemption, Adley Rutschman, Stoutman, Lozardo, and that Nico Hornier. This is number to 150. So there you go, guys. That was Bowman's Best Baseball. Pick your team number 15. I'm sure we'll post up more soon and we can get another pick your team going. Jazbeescasebreaks.com.